With your first news at 6 Sports, here's Ben Dacu. After last night's suspension of affairs, the Big Sticks will play, give or take, one and a half baseball games today against the Mankato Moondogs. Before the Sticks made the trip east into Minnesota, we had the chance to speak with Badlands outfielder and DH Caden Carpenter, who hails from the University of Utah. It's, it's been solid. Um, you know, I finished off the college season strong, and, and that's what I was looking to do here, you know, embrace the culture and, and get tight with a, a new group of guys, a new coaching staff, and, and just continue to have fun. You know, the, the game, the, the more simple you can make it, usually the better you do. Caden's bat can typically be found in the heart of the Badlands lineup in the cleanup spot. He leads the big sticks in RBIs so far this year and is tied with Dane Jones for the lead in home runs. It's still a young season, but he's off to a very good start. Sticks couldn't catch up to the Moondogs in the game that was picked up from last night. Game two of the day will start at 635 Central Time. Badlands hoping to get back to a 500 record. Coming off a win last night, the first place Larks are again playing the Minnesota Mud Puppies, great name, in Bismarck this evening. First pitch for this one is also scheduled for 635 Central Time. After tonight, the Minot Hot Tots will be coming into town. Legion Baseball now, Govs versus Saskatoon. The Govs wasted no time getting started in this one. Tanner grows close, chops one up the middle and beats the throw to first. Ben Watson will score from third. Govs already have a 6-0 lead. The next batter was Lucas Vassi. He lasters this ball into center field and it's live. Gross close turns on the Jets will score all the way from first. Vassi ends up on third and 7-0 Govs. Cubs looking to finish the first inning without giving up any more runs. Ben LaDuke lifts one to center field. How about this diving catch from Trenton Cooey to end the top of the first? Saskatoon is going to grab a run in the bottom half of the first with the bases loaded. Coy Ernst grounds one through the gap. Osher Stromberg will come around, making it 7 to 1. Not going to be enough. Govs win this one 11 to 5. More Legion baseball. Vistas versus Marlins. Vistas are going to jump out in front in the bottom of the second. Tyson Ruzica hits a hard grounder that's going to get into right field. Parker Hahn comes around to score. Next batter for the Vistas is Adam Rodocker. Chance for the Marlins to flash the defense. Shortstop collects the ground ball, steps over to second, fires over to first for the double play. Josh Gutex started the day on the mound for the Marlins. He gave a solid showing, striking out Aiden Deal to end the third. And here in the bottom of the fourth, Vistas are going to tack on yet another run. It's Ruzica again. This time it's going to take a hop. Comes off the scoreboard in right field. Jackson Hahn comes around to score. RBI triple for Ruzica to make it a 2-0 Minot lead. Vistas win this one 5-0. And in the steel city of Pittsburgh, that is another loss for the Twins. Very tough road trip for Minnie and Paul thus far. Losses in six of their last seven and five straight. Twins will be back at it tomorrow for their final game in Pittsburgh. And in the NHL, the Stanley Cup Finals are finally here. Game one between the Edmonton Oilers and the Florida Panthers is tonight at 7. This is familiar territory for the Panthers. They were in the finals last year where they lost to the Vegas Golden Knights. Edmonton is back in the big dance for the first time since 2006. A Canadian team hasn't won the Stanley Cup since 1993, more than 30 years ago when the Montreal Canadiens won it all against the Los Angeles Kings and Wayne Gretzky. The Oilers themselves haven't won a cup since 1990. The Panthers joined the NHL in 1993 and have never won the cup. No matter who wins this series, one of these teams is ending a championship drought.